when I was about nine, mum got pregnant. Oh, this, of course, is at the time that um, she was going to work, and um, grandma was was looking after me um, lunch times and uh, for a bit after school. Um, she also um, used to pay the insurance policies that the, the bloke used to come every week or so um, to collect the premiums. Well, there would be nobody in at our house, so the books and the money were always left with, with grandma. And I made apparently the great mistake of telling grandma that mum was expecting a baby. And grandma gave me the insurance books back and to tell um, ma'am that she wouldn't be looking after me anymore um, because um, ma'am she was now if she did look after me then she would be doomed that um, by getting pregnant in such a manner um, she was trying ma'am was trying to kill, kill her oh, as a child they seemed Somewhat odd, but you take it, you, you 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 take it back with you, and um, I told Mum. Of course, they were not best pleased, but Mum did indeed give up. Well, she had no choice, I suppose. Instantly, uh, did did give up work. Um, now I've been up to this time quite regularly going every Sunday morning to to Grandma's for for our little chats. Sometimes Uncle Ken would be there. And he'd tell stories of his um, wartime experiences in the navy. He was he was actually um, uh, shipwrecked three times. He, he, he was on a minesweeper, which isn't the safest of jobs in the war. One one of the times he was sunk um, off Skegness, and once in the Mediterranean. I can't remember what the third time was. Anyway, um, these had to stop. I wasn't allowed to go until all this was sorted. So they decided that the new baby would have to be christened. Now since, uh, as far as I was aware, nobody had any particular belief in, in, in Christianity, um, this took me as odd. But I was told I had to go to Sunday school um, in order that the, um, the chapel would, um, would christen the new baby. Looking back on it, it's only now that it's occurred to me that I suppose they wanted privacy on Sunday mornings. And since I wasn't going to grandma's anymore, they wanted somewhere else for me to go on a Sunday. I think that was probably the driving force behind it, nothing to do with the christening um, or any religious thing. Um, the the um, Reverend uh, Statham, we'll call him, um, there was odd. Um, years later, um, he was forced to resign because of what he'd done. Um, but even now, 50 years later, I cannot find out what he did. But most of the older people in the village, um, who it was a congregational uh, chapel, so they would a lot of them would be uh, on the congregation, and therefore they would they would run the church. Um, and I know he had eight children, and I did hear somebody say uh, about other women being involved, but that didn't seem to be the secret. Um, that was just considered not not right, but that he'd done something else. I said, let's know what it was, but I don't. Anyway, um, it was, I suppose, looking again, looking back on it, it didn't seem odd at the time because I'd never been to Sunday school, but I, I remember a couple of items that we we had to um, draw God, what, how we thought God looked, and most of the children drew a sort of old man with a beard kind of drawing. And I remember, although he didn't take the lessons, he, he came in to look at them and and, and congratulated us on on um, these drawings, explaining that um, the. There, there will be many people in, in the village that would believe in in the old gods, and we'd, the, the, our drawings could could 
reasonably well represent um, Woden as they could represent God. And he explained to us that they can be considered to be um, one and the same thing. They, they, a lot of the beliefs in, in Christianity and the old beliefs were really the same, um, uh, sort of presented in a different guise, which looking back on it, though not at the time, I suppose was rather an odd thing for him to have said. Um, I was in the, the choir, at, for, they used to celebrate the, um, the anniversary of the founding of the chapel and uh, there was a direct performance and, and, and the children sang songs in a choir. Now, there was, I had no problem in, in, in the choir, I could seem to be able to sing and that was fine with everyone. Um, it was only later that um, apparently my singing was deemed to be uh, both by my music teacher and, and by the music teacher in the grammar school that would I please just stop singing, I was putting the others off, I was so awful. Anyway, um, I, I didn't mind going to Sunday school particularly. Um, uh, there's only one other item I can call to mind immediately and that was coming up to Christmas, um, which Again, it was one of the relatively rare occasions that um, the Reverend Statham himself came in and spoke to us uh, and, and explained um, that Jesus was actually born um, in September in 4 BC, if I remember right. Um, and that, but, but the, uh, the, we Christians, as he said, had uh, decided to celebrate it in, in, uh, in December because that's when um, heathens no normally celebrated uh, and it was just easier to combine the two and Christianity being a tolerant religion um, they moved their celebration of Christ's birth to coincide with, with the heathen celebration of Yule. He further went on to explain um, the idea of the Yule log that traditionally it, it was um, a large log, the, lar the, the, the bigger the diameter, the better, because the older it would be in the middle. The, the tree grew one ring each year and he had a, uh, an old piece of yew that he demonstrated because they're very, very fine um, lines on it. And I can't remember how many years old it was, but it was many years old anyway, he told us, uh, at the centre. And so by slowly burning these this log, it would it would be the wood was made ultimately from the from the sunshine that's where the energy came from this was stored in the wood and the same sunshine that shone on our ancestors had shone on the tree and made this log and by burning it, it if you like you release the the spirit i can't think what, what word it used it wasn't that but the essence if you like of our ancestors it, it was important to get the tree as locally as possible. It didn't have to be yew, but it could be oak, but yew was the very best wood for this purpose because it would have, the centre would be old and you, you, didn't, you didn't need a long length, but you wanted it from a, from a, a trunk then for preference. So in his view, um, they should grow more oaks, uh, in, more yews in the village because um, they take a very long time to grow and one yew cut down each year would um, could provide a slice for the, for, for the whole village with no problem um, in years to come. And in fact, I think he did arrange for um, a couple of years to be planted um, in the grounds of, of, of the um, uh, of, of the chapel. Um, he also went on to explain how the Church of England also um, uh, I believe in this uh, fact of the ancestors. That's why you commonly see yew trees in church in Church of England churchyards, and indeed the Catholic Church before that. It would that all believed in in the, this connection with 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 our ancestors by burning a yule log at Christmas. Um, I suppose at that point I'll uh, I'll stop for now. So bye.